The weighted average cost of capital for a company is also referred to as the WAC. Uh, so it's, it's a percentage that is calculated and what it represents is the minimum return that a company must earn on all of their investments in order to add value to the shareholders. So if the WAC of a company is 8%, then all of their investments have to earn more than 8% in order to be profitable. Uh, the simplest way to look at it is, let's look at it on a personal example. Suppose we decide to borrow some money from the bank and invest it in the stock market. So it's a risky strategy, but let's suppose we do that and we get a loan uh, that is gonna charge us interest at 3%. So what return do we need to earn on the stock market? Now, if I make it simple and I ignore taxes and transaction costs and everything else, then the answer is that we have to earn more than 3% because it's our cost of capital, our cost of the money that we borrowed is 3%. So we have to repay the three. Anything on top of that is profitable for us and it's adding value. So if we earned less than three, it didn't make any sense. So in this case, that's the WAC or the weighted average cost of capital for the individual. For a company, it's a bit more complicated, but the concept is the same. The only reason it's more complicated is because you also have equity and debt uh, in, in a various components, uh, as we talked about in capital structure. So if we add the entire cost of capital for the company as to how they funded it, that would represent the minimum return they must get on all of their future investments. And um, this is... Uh, this is related to not just purchases, so buying a machine would be an investment, but expanding the company into maybe a different region or a different project, it would all have to earn greater than this number. The, uh, the weighted average cost of capital is also sometimes referred to as the hurdle rate or the discount rate, and the discount rate is commonly used in finance. Uh, it is the rate uh, that uh, that is the money is discounted on the net present value analysis, which is a, a different video that I'll do. But uh, but basically that's, you know, the, the confusing part of a discount rate is where does it come from? It's essentially the cost of capital for any type of uh, investment decisions. So if I had to summarize it, if you want to add value to your shareholders and you are running a company, then every one of the investments that you make must earn a return, an annualized return, greater than your cost of capital. If it doesn't do that, then you would have been better off not making that investment.